Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. I'm Anna and I help you grow beautiful and healthy plants. In this video, we're going to talk about brown leaves on our Tradiscansias. It's not only about Tradiscansia albiflora nanook or inch plant, but it's actually about all varieties of Tradiscansias. It really depends uh, what causes the brown leaves on your plants and that's what we are going to address in this video. Well, you can see this beautiful plant. Look at the colors. Look from the, the other side. It's like pink, purple, different shades of green, <laughs> not gray. <laughs> but basically this plant looks so healthy and so lush until you come closer and look at it. And I'm going to show you in a second. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about brown leaves on Tradiscansias. But the reason is uh, that I want to really show the difference between these brown stems or brown leaves or brown spots on your leaves because it's totally different and different reasons, different causes um, can occur for your brown leaves on your inch plants. So that's why now I want to show you how you can identify, for example, root rot or stem rot or leaf rot, which again, the leaves turn brown in all of these cases, or maybe it's something else. And I'm going to show you what that something else is and how you can prevent it. It's so easy, but some people think that oh, I need to save my plant right now. But look at this plant, I'm not even holding it and it grows straight. This is the, one of the varieties of Tradiscansia that grows straight and the stems are so thick and strong because it grows also in a very bright um, area in a very bright sunlight and it grows straight well for now because with the time the branches will get uh, heavy and eventually it will start to trail well now you can see that it looks healthy right nothing is wilted nothing is rotten however look at these leaves here and I will show you a close up also so that you can see how to identify. Look at this leaf. Look at this one. Well, this is definitely something that you can identify as brown leaves. And so many people ask me, the leaves of my Tradiscansia turn brown. What's the reason? What can I do? It's so hard to answer this question without seeing the plant. And unfortunately, on YouTube, you cannot really share the pictures with me, but you can maybe do it on the Facebook page. I would be really happy to look at your plants and try to identify what's the reason for it and what to do to save it. But hopefully this video would also to help you to identify the problem by yourself. So basically when you look at the leaves and the brown spots are dry and they are not the tips uh, on the tips of the plants but they are in the center of the leaves just like this. So you can see here in the middle of the leaf here again and even here on the edges but the tips are quite okay. Well the reason for this is sunburn so basically these plants really like to grow in a very bright area however you need to also think a little bit how intense is the sunlight unfortunately in the area where i live i think we even miss sometimes sunlight especially in autumn in winter we really lack sunlight there are weeks that we don't get sun at all that's why i feel that it's safe to grow this plant right on the south facing window. However, there are days when we have, let's say, very hot weather and it's 35 degrees sometimes and it's very uh, sunny. And if you don't remember to always move your plants because it's always a lot of work to move the plants around, the plants can get burnt. And why here we have basically on the edges this burnt and brown lines it's because this part of the leaf was touching the hot glass of the windows and it's not that it had water on it but absolutely not even if uh, you don't spray your plant your plant and the leaves are dry still the plant can get uh, burnt easily well it's very easy to fix this right you just need to put the plant or move the plant 
um, in the place into the place where it just sees very bright um, sunlight but indirect sunlight so that the sun doesn't really touch the leaves doesn't touch the plant and the problem will be actually solved this is how to solve it but if you notice that the tips are brown then it means that the air is very hot for your plant so in this case you will need to spray it to increase the humidity of the air or an easier and also a more effective or more productive way to do it is just to use a humidifier again if you would like to see which one i use the link will be in the description so that you can use that uh, humidifier by the way i have also um, a video about my review and my experience with that one so i will link also that video if you want to watch it but you can use any other humidifier as well and if you see that the bottom leaves turn all brown crispy or even may maybe they even turn black not even brown and they are kind of soft and wet definitely pay attention to the bottom of the stems because maybe your plant is already getting rotten in this case the leaves will also not look healthy they will be a little bit wilted a little bit kind of really sad and dying in this case you can cut the stems uh, and propagate your plant and basically start to grow it from small cuttings and this way you will save your plant if you would like to join our newsletter please do so the link will be also in the description of the video because every month if you miss any video i will be sharing the tips with you directly to your inbox in a very colorful nice and plenty way and of course if you like the video share with your friends subscribe and stay passionate about plants we will see you in the next one bye